something magnificent sight out here. Magnificent desolation. We could build spacecraft, build rockets, go to this place. But when we got there, nothing could be more descriptive than the word desolation. We leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return. as we've never seen it. These stunning high-definition images are from one of the most sophisticated spacecraft ever built. Kaguya circles the moon at around 60 miles above ground, beaming back glorious pictures of the lunar surface. That satellite has improved our understanding, our definition, just, just what the surface of the moon really looks like. And, uh, and it ought to stir the imagination in any human being. The massive three-ton Kaguya allows us to explore the many faces of the moon, like this hallowed ground, the Sea of Tranquility. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are confirmed to go for orbit. Kaguya also exposes the elusive dark side of the moon with its jagged terrain and sheds new light on the black lava flows of ancient volcanoes. Landscapes that have intrigued scientists since Apollo 17 left this site in 1972. We see in HD clarity where Earth's last official tourist roamed the moon until 1973. Russia's little known Lunacod rover, which continues to inspire the next generation of robotic explorers. Kaguya's greatest contribution is its ability to provide three-dimensional mapping. The images give us an unprecedented view of the moon, as if we are really there. Helping scientists plan for our next visit, one that will become permanent. T-minus 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence.
In the case of our habitat work, we're asked to provide housing, a place to live for four crew members. Initially, that would be for 14 days at a time, evolving to where they could stay for as long as 180 days at a time. So our job here is to build machines that help humans explore space, whether they're spacecraft, whether they're rovers that can take the crew across the lunar surface. In this century, this time in human history, our world is not just the Earth. Our world is now expanding for the first time ever across the solar system and out into the universe. And the moon is that first step.